You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sigic monks. something by the night I can't believe it's here I was just asking around if anyone knew where I might find you my master and I recently arrived here in Skyrim from Cyrodiil it's been a long journey but he sent me to see if I could find you I thought I'd check the tavern and in here in White Run first and then set out for the other tents tomorrow but fortunately the gods favor me today you seem to have found me instead. He's heard of your escape from that awful dragon attack and urgently needs to speak with you. I know nothing more than that. It's at the inn in Fulcrate. Would you please meet him at your earliest convenience? He only wishes to talk to you. Yeah, he gave me this note to give you, and a small token of his appreciation. Now then, I bid you good day as I have another errand to run. No rest for the weary, as they say. Good day. Hi, well met. Thank you. 
place better than Southern Park. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Hmm? Oh, hello. Need something? Oh, bless the divines, you came! Well met, and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me, what happened at Helgen? We'll start with after. Your past is none of my concern. That you survived, however, is. Did you see if anyone else made it out of there? Where are the families, the children? Then it's as I feared. My brother and his family are lost. Gods damn it all. I'd hoped for better news. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. But appearances can also be deceiving. If I'm right, these are no bandits at all. I have it on good authority there is a man known only as Val inside the keep. He's the leader of a small group of mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. That they've come out of hiding is beyond mysterious. They're insurrectionists. A resistance movement, if you will. His name is Valerius Tiberius Artoria. We served for many years together in the Imperial Legion, as captains under Titus Mede II during the Great War. He was a good man in those days, an honorable man. Then the Aldmeri invaded and murdered his wife, son, and daughter in cold blood. They marched them down the streets of the Imperial City and tortured them until they were dead, right in front of the Imperial Palace itself. They said, let it be known that any family members of Imperial officers found anywhere else in the province will receive a similar fate. There were many such atrocities committed by those wretched maggots within those walls, and even more unspeakable tragedies in the rest of Cyrodiil. We were under orders to flee the city for Skyrim when they invaded. We left our people, our families, defenseless. Most did not survive. The few that did make it out of there were scattered as refugees throughout the rest of the province. The plan was to regroup here in Skyrim, rest and resupply our forces and return to the Imperial City to retake it. That took almost a year. Surely you know the history. If not, this book will help you understand a little of what we went through. When we finally returned to the city, there wasn't much left. We split our forces, and I led the charge from the southern waterfront district, while Valerius attacked from the west. March right down to the main gate and knock on the door, he said. The man had guts, that's for sure. After we retook the city, he started to change. He knew his family was gone, but when he learned that they were tortured in the streets, he went mad and vowed to avenge their deaths. He started conducting covert operations that were unknown even to me, his closest friend. He took a handful of his most loyal men and began assassinating Aldmeri officers and diplomats, wherever he could find them. Of course, all of this was without knowledge or consent from our commanders. When they were caught, well, let's just say justice was swift. But the Aldmeri feared making a martyr out of him, as they knew the people were aware of his family's torture and murder. No. But under pressure from the Thalmor, Titus locked him and his men away in the Imperial prison for the rest of their lives. Soon after, I decided my service had come to its end and retired from the Legion. But you don't get to be a captain and not accumulate a few favors. Well, 
Yes and no. I wasn't actually involved in the operation. But a young lieutenant who served under me was stationed there after I retired. And he found an ancient passage out of the prison that had long been forgotten about. We always heard the stories about it from ages ago. But none of us believed they were true and dismissed them as fairy tales. But they were true, and Lieutenant Buckingsley found the passage. So, on a dark and stormy night, Buckingsley quietly slipped a key into Valerius' cell and created a diversion, which bought Val enough time to escape. They went straight away to Hammerfell to join the Red Guard Rebellion against the Alphmeri Dominion. It was rumored a secret brotherhood who called itself the Keepers of Hatu was formed after the signing of the Second Treaty of Stros Mackay. Most people passed these rumors off as baseless gossip, but the name Hatu always had intrigued me. Hatu was the mountain where the Red Guard hero Vrandar Hunding and his sword singers made their final stand against the armies of Hera. It was a bloody battle in their history. But their victory led them to a new land they named Hammerfell, which began the modern-day Red Guard Society. Here, I brought a few of my old books along just to refresh my memory. Perhaps you'd like to study them, if you're interested in history. You may read them at your leisure. Where were we? Oh, yes, the name is a metaphor, meant to imply a final stand, much the same as the one Frandar made at Hatu Mountain. It was also widely known that this brotherhood was made of all races, all united in a singular cause under the banner of the hammer and anvil. Yes, I see you've been listening. Not only defeat them, though, that would not be enough. But to cleanse Tamriel of the Thalmor and their racist Aldmeri Dominion forever. Yes, interesting, isn't it? I've heard the name Valerius Artoria associated with them on more than one occasion. First, who better to lead such an organization than someone as skilled in warfare as he? Second, who better to intimidate your enemy than a legend well known as an assassin of their kind, even if he were dead? And if he is still alive, and his men still serve with him, it seems logical that they will return to Skyrim along with the Thalmor. I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with him. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present company excluded, of course. Give this ring to him. It was his wife's wedding band. If any of his men try to accost you, show it to them and tell them it is a gesture of goodwill from me. They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Tell them Marcus Janus sent you to see Valerius Tiberius Artoria on urgent business. Show them this note with my seal, but tell them it's for Valerius, his eyes only. Please return to me as soon as you can. I'll prepare to leave and be ready to go when you return. Make haste, young one, and may fortune favor the foolish. Can I help you, friend? I've been looking for you. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Riches beyond imagining. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Cassia. Thank <laughs> you. 
stop right there. Don't even think about moving. You see my friends coming? They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. Now, who are you? And what is the meaning of this intrusion? Quickly now, speak! Oh, funny guy, eh? How funny would it be if we got you like a hawker? Never heard of him. You are mistaken. There's nobody by that name here. Now, be on your way. We don't want to hurt you. Don't know him either. I'm beginning to run out of patience with you. Leave now. I don't know who you are, stranger, or what you want, but I advise you to choose your words very carefully from here on out. Let me see that. Hmm. Did you say Marcus Janus? From the war, Marcus Janus. Why didn't you say so? Very well. I will take you inside. But all of us have our eyes on you. And if you try and start trouble, it will be the last trouble you ever start. Follow me. an urgent message for you from Marcus Janus. He was alone, and I thought you would want to talk to him. What? Marcus Janus? Balfring, have you gone completely mad? That's impossible. I thought the same thing, sir, but it's true. He showed me a letter to you with Marcus's seal. It's real, all right. And, sir, somehow Marcus has found Sabrina's wedding ring and sent it to you. Very well. We'll see about this. Balfrank, you are dismissed. All of you may resume your patrols. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are or why you're here, so you'd better have some good answers to my questions. May I see that ring? So you were sent by Marcus Janus? Where is he now? And do you know how he came into possession of this ring? Yes, yes, I suppose that may have been possible, but... This is all so overwhelming. Thank you. I love them very deeply. I nearly went mad after they were murdered by those Almeray dogs. I wanted nothing but vengeance. Every day of my life has burned with nothing but the desire to make them pay for their murders. But enough of that. Now let's see this letter you brought. Mm, yes. <laughs> Marcus Janus, it's certainly you all right. But what do you want with me? Tell me, how has he found me here? Very clever, that one. Always was. Bandits. <laughs> it's not far from the truth, though. Fitting ruse is that's about what we've become. Living our lives in the shadows, hiding and skulking about like some caged skeever looking for his next piece of cheese. Honor? Bah. Any honor I had died with the first Almeri diplomat I assassinated. I'm not the same man he knew. But no doubt he's filled your head with tales of glory from the war, and stories of the Keepers of Hatu. Well, I'm afraid that man no longer exists. This hatred, it's consumed me, taken my life. I suppose I would still be rotting down in that damn prison were it not for Marcus. Now I'm just rotting here instead. And rot is nonetheless still rot. The only difference, really, is where and how. Why would he want to help me? After he sees what I've become, he'll leave soon enough. But... Go tell him I'll meet with him regardless. At least then we can say our proper goodbyes to one another. I never got to do that before. Now, be gone. Please leave me in peace. 